Kia ora. This Step 193 video is going to show you how to use your graphics calculator to do bivariate analysis. We're going to be calculating a regression line, Pearson's correlation coefficient, the coefficient of determination, and using our regression model to make predictions. So we start off in the main menu by going to Stat, and here we've got um, data in this one and this two. Now this data has been entered already and comes from this example here. The 2007 and 2008 Active New Zealand Survey, which looks at the participation rate of men um, in a variety of activities, and this is our variable X, and the participation rate of women in those same activities, and that's our Y variable. Okay, so if you'd like to do this example along with me, pause the video now and enter the data. Before we get started doing the calculations, it's important we just double check that we've entered all the correct data um, to avoid unnecessary errors in assessments. Okay, once we're happy with this, we go into F2 Calculate and we choose Regression. This allows us to apply a regression model to our data. We're interested in applying a linear regression model, so a straight line. So we go into X, which is F1. Now there are two options here that you can see. Either of these will work, but what you'll see most commonly used in STAT193 is the A plus BX model. So that's the one we're going to choose today. So F2. And here's the output that we get from our calculator. So you can see here Y equals A plus BX is the linear model which we've applied to our data. The A is the y-intercept, and the b is the slope of the line. Our values here are a equals negative 26.43 to two decimal places, so this is the y-intercept, and our slope, b, is 1.93, again to two decimal places. Using these values, we can now substitute into this general form to get the linear equation for our line. The R value here of 0 0.985 to three decimal places is our Pearson's correlation coefficient. This tells us something about the direction and the strength of the relationship between the X and the Y variables. The R squared value is the coefficient of determination. The value in this case is 0 0.985 seven zero to three decimal places and it's also can be found by squaring the R value up here. In assessments you might be asked to find the proportion of the variation in Y which is explained by the linear regression model. This is the R squared value. The next thing we want to do is make predictions using this model. So if we go into menu and in, over into run mode, okay, the model that we've found, the linear regression model, has been stored by the calculator. If we now go into options and into stats, F5, we can use this y hat value to predict different values of y um, given different x values. So in this example that we're using here, we're interested in predicting participation rates of women, so predicted values of Y, if we know the participation rate of men, so that's our X value. So for example, we could look at a participation rate of men of 25%. So we enter 25 and we want to know for a certain activity, if that participation rate of men was 25%, what would the predicted participation rate of women be? So we click on F2, which is the Y hat, and execute, and that gives us a predicted participation rate of women, so a predicted value of Y of 21.8%. 